Well, it has been one week since a powerful storm ripped through our area. High winds left more than 40,000 people in the Appleton area without power. Some were in the dark for days. Homes, businesses, and trees were all damaged. Outagamie County says the cleanup efforts have been running smoothly. For those areas that they have chosen to clean up, but they are certainly not over. That process will go on for some time, particularly for homeowners. Debris still littering the curbs, and Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has a one-week update. You could say Appleton is in this cleanup for the long haul. Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Just ask Lee Plannert. The Appleton man says the dump has unfortunately become a destination. He's made many trips and still isn't finished clearing his yard. Keeps you busy. Homeowners and city crews are making progress, but there's still unwanted landscaping resting on many, many curves. I mean, obviously, the big area was Appleton, the city of Appleton, though. But if you go outside the community, out, outside of the city, there were at least a dozen other communities that were directly affected by this. Outagamie County yeah. Executive Thomas Nelson says countywide damage estimates top three million. Local leaders are still trying to get an accurate figure from municipalities, businesses, and homeowners. Nelson expects to file for disaster assistance in the next few weeks. In the meantime, he says the focus will be on the most visible reminder of the storm. If you drive on Appleton, you just see stacks and stacks of, of you know, of branches and so forth. It's going to take a while for, for the city to clean that up. This may look like a lot of debris, but this pile is just the beginning. Up to this point, city crews have focused mainly on city property. The first public pickup comes on Monday. A look at the street shows homeowners are ready. The city plans to tackle large debris with front end loaders and dump trucks. Everywhere you drive, there's, there's piles of wood. Bill Van Offeren says he's finished cleaning up, but knows that's not the case for everyone. There's still a lot of, a lot of damaged trees that are still up there. So if we have another storm, it's going to be a lot worse. In Appleton, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. As Lindsay mentioned, Appleton's storm pickup begins on Monday for uh, homeowners. It'll be a day after the normal garbage pickup. That is the schedule.